What is up guys? I'm Daddy Gamer Fred and welcome back to another Fortnite guide video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to complete the Dark Jonesy The Oracle Speaks punch card. Now, this is a brand new punch card for Dark Jonesy and yes, we already have one punch card for Dark Jonesy, but now we have a second one and I just want to show you guys Dark Jonesy The Oracle Speaks. And then we also have the old one that we had since day one of the season, Spooky Story Questline. Now there are two different quest lines that you actually have to get from the same NPC. I'm gonna show you how to tell the difference between the two missions and then go over each of these missions that we have to do for the Oracle Speaks quest line. And also on top of that, if you complete this quest line, during the Fortnite Mares event, which is still one week and three days as of this recording, you can get yourself this glider. I'm gonna be showcasing it at the end of the video. I think it's pretty cool. It's like a cube, but if it was like a cardboard box, kinda. We're gonna have to deep dive into it more so after the video, but let's just jump in and get this Dark Jonesy quest line. Now you can go to the Dark Jonesy, the Oracle Speed quest line and pin him on the map. He's gonna still be at the same place at Steamy Stacks as you can see up here. Still at Steamy Stacks, I like the entrance broken off where Kevin came out from. So we're gonna go in there, speak to him, and then get ourselves this quest. Is that Ninja? <laughs> Let's go. Um... Sorry, Ninja. Sorry. So this is Dark Jonesy at the same location that we found him last time. And the way you can tell that he has the spooky quest line. You're going to see two of them. And it's going to say collect scrolls from different IO bases. This is going to be the new quest line for Dark Jonesy. Let me pick that up. Now the first mission again is to collect scrolls at different IO bases. There's one right here outside of steamy stacks. So let's just hop over and grab that. Let's see if we could use one of these arrow tunnels for an advantage to get ourselves some height and fly over there. And let's go. Did somebody get clapped over here? I see uh, some loot. And I see the sideways. Let's try to avoid the sideways. We can. And here we go. The scrolls. Collect scrolls. So that's one. Let's get up out of here. Head towards the next IO location, which is, uh, let's go to this one. Right by Cube City. So here it is. The next IO base. That's. And it's right here on the first floor. Great. So the next one is use shadow stones, then recover the spirit vessels. So we gotta use a shadow stone and then recover something. There's only one place to do that currently inside the circle. So let's go and grab that. Let's grab this. Let's head over and try to do this. Uh, let's grab this car. So it says use shadow stone. So let's uh, grab one of these babies. Shadow stone. So it's not just a shadow stone. Okay, so is this urn thing? Yeah. Recover spirit vessels. There we go. Okay, now we gotta touch a cube. 
And it should be easy enough. Let's just head to the convergence. And touch a cube. Uh, time for this is running low. Convergence is uh, running out of the circle. We should be good though. If we just try to glide over from here. And we got a touch A cube. Let's head over to Cube Town. Well, the convergence. And we got to touch a cube. I wonder if the gold cube counts. And that's what we're going for. We're going for the gold cube. There it is. The gold cube. There we go. And it worked. The gold cube totally counts. All right, the next mission is to destroy corruption clusters in all corruption fragments. We might have to do that in another match because uh, there's none in the circle currently unless they respawn in the circle. Let's see. Ten players left and there's none inside the circle. So, um, yeah. Let's try to get the dub and then uh, continue this after. Let's go. Nice win for the intermission of the video. Now back to the missions at hand. Bro, what? So I guess this is the cubes they want us to destroy? That counts it. There we go. So you just gotta bang on these cubes until they all go away, basically. You gotta return the spirit vessel to the Oracle and hear his vision. Okay, and that is a uh, back at Steamy Sacks. Let's go. Alright, Jonesy. We're in the storm, but let's get this done. Oh, he gave me a legendary shotgun too. Pump shotgun. He says my vision is now clear, but I bring dark things. Two paths lie ahead of you. One path I see sacrifice and loss, the other total annihilation. Okay. I don't know what that means, but I will take that pump shotgun. And that is how you do the Dark Jonesy questline. Why did they play that spooky music like at the end? Let's get into the storm. Well, out of the storm, rather. And uh, pop a med kit and head on our way. So that's going to be it for today's video. Let me know in the comment section below your thoughts on this brand new Dark Jonesy quest line. If you need any more help with the missions itself, let me know. I could We could talk about it in the comment section below. Like always, guys, I answer all comments. So let's have that conversation down there. If you're new around here, consider hitting that subscribe button. I do videos like this every day. Talking Fortnite, Call of Duty, Pokemon, Mario, wherever I feel like dropping the vibes on, I drop it here on the channel. So again, consider hitting that subscribe button. Also, hit the like button. It does help me out a ton as far as moving the videos into recommended so other people can check out the videos. Peace. I love you guys. I'm going to see you guys on the next one. And I just noticed that we also get a glider. I forgot about that. While I was doing my spew, I realized that there is still a glider to go over for this mission. So, um...
And I'm getting a private invite from Kakarot. So let's um let's do two things. Let's leave this match. Let's check out the glider and let's play with Kakarot. Ten battle stars, twelve ink ribbons, and the cube cruiser. Which again looks like a cardboard box. <laughs> it looks like a cardboard box. <laughs> Oh god, I gotta see how it looks in game. Are we sliding on this or are we like flying on this on as a Are we holding the bottom? Or are we on top of this like a, a surfboard? Because if we are on top of it like a surfboard, this is cool. Oh it is a surfboard. Oh okay. I like the surfboard. The new glider you can unlock. Wow, it actually looks really good too. Thank you, thank you, thank you for making it to the end of this video. If you're not a subscriber and you made it this far, hit that subscribe button. You know you want to join the family, ring the bell so you can be notified on the next time I drop one of my videos, as well as hit the like button on this video so it could be recommended so more people can check it out so we can have more people join in the family. If you want to keep up with me on other social media platforms such as Twitter, Instagram, or TikTok or whatever, I'm Daddy Gamer Fred on all of those. Again, Daddy Gamer Fred, you'll be able to find all those links in the description of this video and the pin tweet comment on my Twitter also on all of my videos I do answer all comments so again if you just want to chat it up about the video or anything just hit me up in the comment section below I take time out of my day and literally answer to all the comments that you guys leave me and I love it and again let's have that conversation down there here are a couple of suggested videos that you guys should check out that may be of your interest I am a variety channel I do tons of stuff tons of Pokemon but tons of other stuff as well so dive into these videos peace i love you guys i'm gonna see you guys on the next one